Today, we will look at television flyback transformers used as a high voltage power supply, and we will look at the single end resonant drive. So this setup uses the SG3525 pulse width modulator chip, and I'm using the TC4422 gate driver. And we've got a nice signal on our gates. And the transformers are alternatively driven, one on and the other one on. It gives us a uh, more power out. Now I've tried driving these transformers with half bridge drivers and they really haven't got good results out of them. So that's why we are going to use a single end resonant drive. These are two identical flyback transformers. Also note I am using the internal primary winding on the transformer. This is the voltmeter we're going to use for our readings. It's a 500 microamp meter. 500 microamps would equal 50,000 volts DC. We're going to run this at 28,000 volts, so that will be 280 microamps. Here goes a uh, power arc right out of the transformer. And this is with a 250k ohm series load. Here is our input voltage with 28,000 volts on the output. There's our ampmeter. I'll draw an arc with a 250k ohm series resistance. Here's right out of the transformer. Here are some power arcs right out of the transformer. So here is our next experiment. I have here is a homemade flat plate capacitor. 0.017 microfarads and there's our 250 kilo ohm charging resistor and we're going to run some power arcs through this gap So here is the next setup. I have a flat plate capacitor set up to energize a one turn loop and we have our spark gap switch to discharge the capacitor. There is our pickup loop, it's a one turn with a 100 ohm resistor across the open part and we'll get some discharge readings. Next is some discharges with a 0.5 microfarad energy storage capacitor. Here is our schematic diagram of this flyback driver experiment based on the SGE3525. And I'm using the TC4422 driver IC. There's our power transistors. And the key component on this to make it run smoothly is this capacitor right here where the collector joins the primary winding 
that capacitor goes to ground. And with that, you have a real nice uh, waveform, real nice operation, and the power transistors run nice and cool. So here I have a probe on the collector on a drive transistor and I have a two turn loop on the transformer core. There's our waveform and operating frequency is 20.7 kilohertz. This is uh, 15,000 volts on the transformer. Here's some power arcs. And this is the resonant capacitor. 